All right, so now let's learn how to manipulate what the look of our actual console text comes out as. And we can actually manipulate it in quite a few different ways that can create some really great effects. Let's start with the most common thing that you're going to do. Oftentimes when you run, a, when you run your program, you're going to want to, you have a lot of output for the user and you're going to want to clear it out so you can kind of clean it up and show them something new. And this can happen if you're looping through a program and you're showing them output, they put in some data, maybe do some calculations or something, and then you give them a new outlook on things, the result of what they're doing. Or it can be something like a game or whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is a lot of times you're going to want to clear the window so you can display new things. So how do we actually clear things? Well, the good news and bad news here. The good news is, yes, it's possible. The bad news is that manipulating Java console output is actually a pretty ugly thing. So you're going to have to do lots of copy and pasting here. I don't expect you to memorize any of this, but I do expect you to know where to come and find this information later on for when you want to do it. So whenever you want to um, clear the console of all the current output, uh, you can just run a single line command. First of all, let's display, let's show what the console looks like. If we run the program right now, we see the, the, compile, the compiling messages right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a console clear command right here as our only line on the program. And what you're going to see is that this just goes away. It's not here anymore. So here's, here is the ugliness of clearing the console. Put a little comment in there for you as well. So the following command will clear the entire console window. Anything it previously is deleted. So copy and paste this line. So it's just a system.out.print command, but you need to put this text in there. I'm not going to go into detail about what this text means. In fact, I don't really know a lot of it, uh, to be honest. So, uh, But it does clear the console of all previous output. So let's take a look and make sure. And we see it's all gone now. When All it's sitting there is the cursor. So let's test this. Let's do an output command before this. System.out.println hello world and then we're going to do another one after that in a second but oops let's run this so we output hello world but then it's gone we don't actually get to see it let's display hello world again after now and we run it and this time we're going to get a clear window with nothing but hello world so you can see the effect just clearing the window has it gives us a nice clean interface so it's really easy to use so whenever you want to do that just copy and paste this one line of code anywhere you want in your program and it will clear the screen of everything you got at that moment but what about coloring well we can we can manipulate color in our programs in two ways we can manipulate the color of the text and we can manipulate the background color, the color, the, the rectangle that sits behind each character. So it's not a straightforward thing to do. Uh, once, you've, once we've included all the stuff that we need, it is a lot more um, copy and pasting and whatnot like that. So let's figure out what we need first of all. So we need to have a set of colors that we can work with. And there is no clear way to do that in Java. There's no straightforward way. So I'm going to give you some code that you're going to paste directly in your program. Now these are all constants. We talked about this in class recently. And a constant is always the first thing that's defined as a, in your global data section. So your global variable slash global con constant section. Right up here, right below the class line, you're going to paste this. So what we see here first is a group of background color. So we have black underscore BG. So black background, red background, green, yellow, blue, purple, cyan, and white. Below that, we have our text colors. So these are gonna be used to modify the color of our text. These are gonna be used to modify the color of the background behind the text. And we're gonna have one more, and this one more is gonna be used to reset all of our colors that we currently have in our program. So what you're going to want to do is at the top of any program that you have that you're going to be manipulating colors is you're just going to copy and paste this entire thing right as the first thing inside of your class. Okay. Now that it's there, we can just use it. But how do we use it? So here's the thing. You can actually modify all of these colors uh, just by doing a print command with one of these variables. What do I mean by that? Well, let me show you. Something like this, system.out.print red. 
What I just did there is I just converted all of the following text that I put on the screen to red. So everything that follows from here on out will be red. So let's test that out. System.out.println. I'm going to copy and paste this because we're going to be using this a few times. And I'm going to output hello world. And we'll put another message after that. Let's say uh, howdy. And you're going to find that when we display this now, we get two red messages. They kind of look a little pink to me, but whatever. So we get two red messages. Now if I modified this color to say blue, and I run this, we're going to get some blue text. Okay. Now similarly speaking, we could use the background instead. So instead of the text color, we could use the background color. Let's say blue background. So that means the text will be its original color, which is like kind of like a whitey gray. And then the uh, background behind it will be that blue shade. And we see it kind of pop out there. You notice that everything is still getting that blue background. So you got to be careful of this when you're using it. So here's the general rule. Let's put this back to red. I'm going to write the comment in here so you see this. So everybody has this comment. Okay. So you can modify colors before output with a print command. So before you do any of your output, you can modify the color to whatever you want. Doing color changes in separate commands is a lot cleaner and the recommended strategy. So I want you to do it in this manner. So change the color and then do your output. However, there are times that you're going to want to change the color in the middle of your output because you want some things on the line to be one color and other things to be another color. And you may want to do this just simply to emphasize something on the screen. So for example, let's try this. I'm going to take away that line for a second and let's try this. Let's say uh, system.out.println. I'm going to say, uh, let's try, um, let's, this is, oops, I need some quotes. This is, and now I want to change the color. So I can change the color just by concatenating one of these variables. This is yellow. So I'm changing the color to yellow. Now I'm going to concatenate what I want to be yellow. This is yellow um, important. And now I'm going to change the color back to something else. Let's change it back to, it's currently red right now, so let's change it back to red. Okay. And then I'm going to put in the final word of text. Now watch what happens when I display this on the screen. So we actually get an emphasis of one word in there because we had the first part, remember it's still red here. This is going to get displayed as red, and then we change the color to yellow right in the middle of the text, output our word important, and then we changed it back to red and outputted the last bit of the text. So you can see we actually get color changes in the middle of our um, actual output. So it is possible to do color changes in the middle. You don't have to do everything um, in individual lines, although this is usually the recommended way. But when you're doing more than one on a line, I actually... I expect you to do it that way. It's going to be far less work and uh, pain to do so. So um, what about if we want things to go back to normal? We're like, oh man, okay, I've played with my colors enough. I need to go back to regular text so people can understand what's going on again. So in that case, we're going to use this reset colors variable. And all we have to do is just do a print command. System.out.print reset colors. And then we can do any form of display we want from here just to show that those colors have actually been reset. So let's say uh, system, oops, not what I want. Normal colored text. Now we run this. There we go. Now reset colors will not only reset uh, the text colors, it'll also reset background colors too. So if you've played with the background colors, this will put them all back to their original values. Okay. So you got to remember that anytime you change a color, it stays that color until you've modified it to a new color or reset it. 
Now the cool thing is you can actually change the background color and the foreground color at the same time in an output statement. So watch this. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color to green and the foreground color to yellow. So let's see, system.out.print ln, let's say green background plus yellow text. So yellow plus ICS201. Now when we run it, ooh, that's super bright. I don't know if I like that, <laughs> that yellow on top of the green, but uh, that's okay. It's still showing what we want. So typically you're probably gonna want a darker color on top of your bright colors to make it contrast. So maybe you wanna change that to black. And now when we run it, oh, that's better. Now we can actually see it, great. Uh, so finally, let's kinda just uh, reset the colors. So I'm gonna copy and paste this reset colors command. Do, do, do. And then I'm going to do one final line that's going to put everything together. We're going to do background colors. We're going to do for, or we're going to do text colors. We're going to do reset colors, all in one statement. So let's see how this looks. All right. System .out I. Oops. Let me move my cursor there. I. Let's change it to a white background. And then we're gonna change the foreground to, uh, sorry, we're gonna change the text color to black. And then I'm gonna write the word love. I love, what do I love, what do I love? I love CS. Let's see, reset colors. And then I'm gonna change this to CS. So now what you're seeing is we're seeing multiple colors all on the same line. And the only thing that's gonna show up text wise is I love CS. We're gonna have the word love in with a white background with black letters, and then CS is gonna be back to normal again. And there we go. Oh, I need a space in there. Let's try that one more time. There we go. So now you've seen how we can clear the screen. You can see, you've seen how we can manipulate uh, the individual colors, the background colors, as well as the text colors to produce some really cool effects. And you're gonna be able to use this to draw pictures and all sorts of different things. So have fun with it and let's see what you can do.